What's up guys, welcome to the episode of Post and Fishing in the kitchen once again but again it's going to be a different type of catch and cook we're going to be cooking this bad boy right here which is one of the big salmon which we call it salmon in Trinidad weak fish or sand trout or corvina, different names around the world this is what we're going to be cooking today but we're going to do it slightly different this is about a 5 pound fish we're going to make a full meal with some potatoes and some other veggies the thing we're going to do different today is we're going to cook it in banana leaves or fig leaves as we call it in Trinidad so what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare the fish I'm going to, it's already cleaned, gutted, scaled, fit so we're going to season it with some dry seasonings and after we're going to place it into the baking tray on top of some banana leaves we're going to put some fresh herbs and seasonings on top of it Together with the potatoes, some sweet peppers, some bodhi we call it in Trinidad. Yard beans. Yard beans, as they say. And we're going to cook up a full meal together. Let me show you the fig leaf. I eat half of that. Check it out. Um, some people are rapid tightening the fig leaf. I'm not going to be doing that today. We're going to take a little different method. So we're going to use it, place it in the tray. Double it over, make sure that everything is exposed. Then we're going to place the fish on top of it and put another fig leaf on top of that. So it's going to be like a fig leaf housing. They say when you're cooking a fig leaf, it um, keeps the fish extra moist and you get a nice little flavor from it. Now, salmon to me is not the most flavorful fish, so we're going to put some serious flavor into this. So, we're going to wash out the fig leaf, chop it in half, season the fish, put it in your oven, see how long, how long it takes. Maybe it might take more than two hours, but nice how Alright, get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we have to do is season the fish with the dry seasoning. Dry seasoning meaning um, salt, black pepper, some all purpose seasoning, garlic powder and paprika. Now this fish is 9, 18, about 24 inches. That's about 5 pounds. If you didn't see how I caught it, check it out right now. Um, I'm going to make some slits in it by the time and check out the footage of me catching the fish. Fish on here. Oh my god. Oh, big salmon. Nice one. One bite. Nice one. Well done. Alright, the first thing we're going in with is some black pepper. JGM. Black pepper, of course. Maybe you might season one side first and then season the next side. That might make things a little easier. Mm -hmm. I was advised that the all purpose seasoning already has salt in it, so I don't have to put much salt if I put in any at all. So, going in generous with this. So, maybe the salt might be left out. Make sure you get all inside. Next, we're going with the garlic powder. Alright, you got any cracks. Last is the paprika. One side, guys. Now we got to do the next side. Alright, guys, so the fish is well seasoned. We're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes, longer if you have more time, while we prepare the other stuff for baking. Okay, so the first thing is our potatoes. Just gonna cut these in half. Nothing too fancy. I already washed it and scrubbed it. Boom, potatoes done. Season up that's now. Some sweet pepper, because I just like sweet pepper. Watch this little trick here, guys. Oh yeah. Taking out all the seeds one time. Rough chop again. In the meantime, what you can do, guys, get start to preheat your oven. We're going in at 450 because it's a roast fish we're going for. We'll see how it goes. Rough chop again. Rough chop, guys. It's rough chop. 
can do anything fancy, just rough chop it. Okay, so here we have all the veggies. Nice smokers board there, nice full meal. Come put them in a bowl so we can season them up. Everything going together, but potatoes, everything. We need the same seasonings, all purpose. Some paprika, garlic, some black pepper. And we're gonna put in some Cajun seasoning here, guys. A little extra to the veggies. Couple spoonfuls of that. Nice. We have very seasoned vegetables. Just a mix. I'm gonna put some olive oil into it. That looks pretty good if you ask me. Last thing is to cut up our green seasonings, then put everything together into the pan. Alright guys, I had a little camera I missed up, so just making sure you guys saw this. I have all the veggies here, potatoes, cauliflower, bodhi, and some sweet pepper. Well seasoned, all mixed up. Um, I have the fresh seasonings here. We have the sive, pimento, garlic, onion, shadow benny, bondanya, culantro, and lime. So now we're just gonna put everything together into the tray on the fig leaf. I'm gonna stick it in the oven, 450 degrees for about 25 minutes. We'll check it and see how it goes. This is the tray, pretty big tray. This is the fig leaf, the banana leaf. So cover the entire tray with the leaf. Probably when the fish is too big to fit across here, so we still have to put it at that angle. So we'll see how that goes. So normally when you're doing fish, you normally wrap it in foil. So like I said this time, going a little bit different, we're using fig leaf as the barrier between the tray and the fish. Placing the big boy fish here. So you could just barely fish fit diagonally across. So we gotta make it work. Go, we're gonna drizzle some olive oil on the fish. Inside as well. The excess olive oil will fall on the leaves. Okay, could put some on the leaf. Next to the fish, we're going to put the veggies all over. Some on this side. So this guy is essentially a full meal fish, potatoes, veggies. Okay, let's just add in one more piece of magic, just some butter, sticking it into the fish, piece on top of the veggies, some inside the fish as well. Alright guys, the final touches now is to throw these seasonings and the lime. So we have the garlic, until we just, just drop in the garlic all over. Pimento, Pandanya, Onions, Sive, Thyme. Squeeze in one lime, keeping your rest for after the fish is done. Because I like to put my lime after the fish is cooked. And the rest of the seasons, I'm going to stick it inside of the fish. Now, people like to stuff their fish. 
not added it already. This one we're not doing it because we have the veggies on the outside. So we're gonna put the rest of this seasoning all inside of the fish. Now the real masterpiece is finished. That is the final product there guys, going in the oven now, we hope it fits in your oven with all this banana leaf sticking out. So yeah, it is in the oven guys, a little difficulty getting it in but it's in. So that's what I was looking after, 25 minutes guys, still has some cook time to go, the leaves, the leaves have wilted over, definitely. So leave it for about 10 minutes again and we'll see, check it again. Alright guys, so cook time took a lot longer than I actually expected. My I said 25 minutes initially, but after checking it, it actually take, took twice the amount of time. The size of the fish and the potatoes to cook. So we cooked it for 40 minutes with the leaves on top of it. Leaves. Cooked it for 40 minutes with leaves on top of it and then removed it for 10 minutes and left it cooking at 4.50. So 50 minutes total cook time. So I'm going to show you it and reveal it to you guys. Leaves got quite crispy. Voila, the masterpiece is finished. Fully cooked, straight to the bone, good to go. Alright guys, so now for the taste test, might be a little hot. Cooked in banana leaf or fig leaf, let's see if it's any different in the moisture. Texture is definitely different for salmon, maybe it's the size of the salmon, but normally salmon is a lot softer, this one is not as soft. Nice texture. Pretty good. Now next reason why it took so long to cook is check out this cover a lot guys. It got roasted. Maybe it's supposed to steam it before. But I mean it did its purpose. So many flavors I got would have been infused. I mean but it wasn't really a cover in the end. So normally when you foil the fish it'll cook faster. So more or less we just kinda of baked it in the open. And the potatoes, let's give it a try. Oh, a little bit hot, guys. Now, a trick the wife told me this was soak the potatoes so it cooked faster. The boy didn't do that, so to make sure it cooked through. A little hot, but it cooked. Full meal, cooked on the banana leaf. No foil, healthier, safer, as you believe. Potatoes, fish, veggies, all on a banana leaf or fig leaf. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, wanted to try it on the fig leaf. So many people have to try it instead of using foil. Uh, I guess one of the things to do is to steam the fig leaf so it will be as brittle. And to wrap the fish, there's another method. I'll do that in another video. This one is just to cook it on the fig leaf itself and see how it comes out. You know, it looks pretty good to me. It's tasting pretty good. Just took a little longer than I expected to cook. So thanks for watching this episode of Coast Ambition. I'm gonna dish this out now and have some lunch. So thanks for watching. Keep fishing, get in your kitchen, cook something, fish on.